everybody, it's Lissa. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am super, super excited. Behind me, right here, we have my snails that I have ordered. I ordered them a couple days ago and they have already came in. I ordered them online and I am super excited to unbox them. I've never actually gotten an animal shipped to me in the mail before, so it was kind of nerve wracking, but I think everything's gonna be okay. I have my little snail enclosure back here ready for them to, you know, join the world. So yeah, like I said, I got them online. So if any of you guys are looking into getting snails, make sure to look up your snail laws in the state or country that you live in, just to make sure that it is okay to have the certain snails that you want. And this is why I look so gross. These snails were supposed to be delivered tomorrow, but they were delivered today, so now I have to open them today. Don't have makeup or anything on, so. I'm looking a bit rough, but it's okay. I am super excited. I know you guys just wanna see the snails anyway. So let's go ahead and get started. I got them in here. I got two milk snails. I feel like I should just like move the camera to like over here so you guys can just see the snails being opened. Let's do this. I'm actually pretty nervous. I'm not really sure why, but. And by the way, guys, this is my PO box address, so don't get worried about my address showing. Okay, there's a little piece of paper in here. So it's like just little snail guides in here. So that's good to know. It says like how to wake up your snails and everything because usually in shipping, they go through like this hibernation phase. So there must be in here. And then in this, we have calcium and magnesium powder sample. So that's pretty cool. So let's open them. Okay, so they're in here. I don't know if you can see it. There's a bunch of little poops in here. Got one there and one there. So let's open it and see if we can maybe get them on this little plate thing right here. I don't know if you guys can see them. They're definitely like hibernating or asleep right now. Oh my God, one's already waking up. Oh my God, he's coming out.
So it has been a week since having my snails and they have been doing great and they sleep during the day, they're awake at night, they're doing really, really good, they're healthy. But as you'll be able to see from the clip, they poop a lot, a lot, a lot. I'm about to do my weekly cleaning. So if you guys are interested in snails in any way, this is just a poop that has happened in a week. You will be doing a lot of cleaning. And I didn't mention in my last video because I mean, there was no point of really mentioning it, but if you're getting snails, even if you have one snail there, they can still lay eggs and have babies because they are hermaphrodites, which means they have male and female parts, which means they can fertilize their own eggs and you can have babies. So just because you get one snail does not mean that you will not have babies. So you need to check the enclosure every single day for eggs. And if you don't want babies, make sure to put those eggs in a bag, put them in the freezer and then crush them so you don't have to have any babies. So just look up online what snail eggs look like, what you do with them and stuff like that and you'll get a good idea of what to do with snail eggs. Mine haven't laid any eggs yet, but it will definitely come soon. I'll post a video of it on like Instagram or TikTok or something when they do finally lay eggs, just so you guys can see what they look like. But I'm gonna get them out of their enclosure and show you them up close so you guys can kind of get an idea of what they look like. They're so cute. Oh, and their names. A lot of you guys recommended that I name them kind of like different milk names because they're milk snails. So their names are Almond and Cashew. They look exactly the same, so I couldn't tell you the distinction between the two, but their names are Almond and Cashew. <laughs> So make sure always to rinse your hands beforehand so you don't have salt on your hands. And I'm also going to spray my hands with water too because they do better. And I'm just gonna put them on this little leaf. As you can see, they're out. One is bigger than the other. This one right here is a lot bigger. And then we have the other little one back here. Here they are. I just don't wanna touch them that much because milk snails are very sensitive when they're being touched. So I wanted to keep them on something else. Lighting in here is not amazing. So I'll show you guys the clip that I'm filming right now of them. They are seriously incredible. I just sit and I watch them all the time. They're seriously so amazing. And I love their antennas. They're climbing on top of each other now. Look at them. Just climbing on top of each other like that. Oh my gosh. That is a perfect thumbnail. It's so cute. All right, I'm gonna put them back in their enclosure now so they can go back to sleep, but you guys see Spectre down here? She's waiting patiently. She would like to see the snails, but she's not allowed to see the snails. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I absolutely am in love with these snails. Like the first day I had them, I was just so intrigued by watching them. They're such interesting creatures. It's just so crazy to me. Watching their mannerisms and everything, you can kind of see one of them now kind of going along. <laughs> so I will be doing more videos um, on them. If you have any requests, definitely comment down below. I I probably will do a video on like how I clean their enclosure and stuff like that. I'm planning on maybe getting something a little bit bigger because while this is a good size, it seems a little small sometimes. So I think I may find one that is a little bit bigger for them. And I'm also going to make it where it's a little bit better for them um, when it comes to the humidity and stuff, because right now I don't want it to, I don't want the enclosure to have any molding because I don't have any type of like rock or mesh layer in there right now. So I don't want it to get all moldy and stuff like that. So I'm probably gonna look into getting one that's a bit bigger than this and make it where it's a little bit safer for them. They have been doing amazing. They eat on the cuddle bone. Um, I've been giving them different foods. Cucumber. I won't be giving them cucumber all the time because they can get addicted to cucumber and they won't eat anything else, which same, I love cucumber. Um, I've been giving them romaine lettuce, carrots, sweet potato. They ate the sweet potato like crazy and made their poop orange, which was really weird. I've also been giving them this twice a week. This is their wormer. It has protein in it. It's wild caught wormer snail food. It's from Brittany Bellows on Etsy. She makes a lot of different snail foods that you just mix with water. They eat this up like crazy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out all of my social medias down below and also make sure to check out all of my other channels down below as well. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.